Hello viewers of the interwebs, my name is Razior and welcome to Fez. This is a game I've been looking, really looking forward to playing, uh, because I know what it's about. So let's get started. I'm loving this menu system. Okay, so I've got a slot here that's like nothing, so let's start a new game. We're going into hyperspace. Oh no, it's going to start playing Star Trek music. Oh, good. It's not like I don't like Star Trek music, because it goes on forever. Let's, let's go. Let's go out the door. Wait a minute. That's not me. That's someone else. Ah, the post tube. The tube post. That's a pretty cool tube. That's, I like that. We should have posts like that here. Walk up to the mailbox. Dear Gomez, please meet me at Top of Village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Giza. Okay. Hello. What's your favorite shape? Hmm. Yours is a square. If this nose actually is a cube, how come you know about it? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this is a uh, a 2D world. Um, I'd like to stress this is a 2D world. Hey you. There are you. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Dot dot dot. Any time now. Dot dot dot. Just you wah. Okay, I'll wah. There you go. Oh, there's a shape. My Xbox controller's vibrating. Lots of... Ooh. It's a 2D representation of a cube. Oh, colours. Yep. You know what I said about 2D world? So pretty. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Sorry, mate. Yep, sorry. No idea. What are you doing? Don't do anything stupid. Uh oh. Don't. Uh oh. We get rid of all this stuff, Captain. Did you just spin around and say a load of gibberish? Right. Okay, fine, it's not Mr. Bean. Oh, that looks like a... like a fez. What's this game called again? Oh yeah, it's called, it's called Fez. That's a fez there. Um, what kind of fez does that? Uh, let's. Oops. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We can put that together and just look. Oh, oh. Um. Okay. Ooh, it's going crazy. Have I broken it already? Ugh. Everything's the same, except I have a fez now. Whoa! And now the fun begins. Mm. 
Now, it's a 3D world. So, um... Everything's got a bit more, more depth to it now. Everything means so much more. So this is a platformer in 3D, which with three, three dimensions. Platformer with three dimensions. You know the game's gonna be cool when it has three dimensions. That behave like two. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I like, I like this. That looks like a thing. Probably because it is. Yeah, a treasure. Yeah, X. X to open it. Fine. Ooh, a key. Good thing there's a door that needs opening, otherwise, it'd be completely useless and a waste of game resources. Ah, I have a key for this. Ooh, what's this? Bit of paper. Oh, it's going night time in this peaceful village. The peaceful village where the lion sleeps tonight. Or depending on his housing situation in the future, tomorrow as well. Oh. I thought I already collected that one. Oh, well, maybe it's a different one. Maybe it's his brother. Maybe it's his like twin brother. That's presuming they're made. Who knows? So, I have a cube thing. You did it! Now you can uncube the door. Okay, sorry, I, that's, that's... So you can't survive that. Well, that puts you at a par of realism with most video game characters, my friend. Hey, mate. What do you think about cubes now? That was a cube! That's not impossible. Impossible, you... Uh, boing. Now, if this thing crashes my game, <laughs> or pretends to, then let's do some climbing. Oh, no. Ah. Ta-da. And another cube. <laughs> Anti climax. Hooray! We got another cube. And because we have another cube, that means things are possible. That means there is a handkerchief. Right, now, I want to make this totally clear. When I said I, I knew what this game was, that doesn't mean I know all the solutions. Okay, now I've made that clear. Let's get on with me being a bit. Whoa! That was not supposed to happen. I'm presuming at one angle. Is that not a thing? Can I not... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, careful, Gomez. I've just noticed that that little cubey thing is going up and down every time I jump. Oh, there we go. I can climb up there all along. What is it, you... Ding dong. Thoughts? when any character I play they tend to never be able to keep themselves alive um, and it's not because I'm a bad gamer it's because um, it's because okay fine, fine. You, you draw what you like from that oh there's actually some things there there's a door and I bet this goes to somewhere else entirely I was right 
before we go there, I think we should stay around the other area first. Just in case I missed anything. Let's get this thing open. It's a key! Key key! Hooray! Slowly. And that's how to fall, slowly, while breaking the laws of physics. Myself that if, if this game was like, single thing kills you, then I would have been dead a long time. Then. La 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 la, la 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 la, la. Through the door, confuse my head, go on the ceiling. Ooh. So we're picking up readings of lag spikes from this area. So we're picking up region. Stir, sir. This man did not make a Star Trek joke without. Oh, no. I can see like a full cube up there, which is something I kind of want. But it's also something I cannot possibly get to. Oh, won't you look at that? Right, Jimmy. I found myself a cube thingy. Am I gonna do with a cube thingy? I'll use it to cure my fake American accent. Randomly changes from person to person. I don't even know who this guy is, but you know. Yeah, I, what's wrong with me? This is what happens when I fail at a game. I just start going crazy. Can't we just like turn the world the other way and put all the cubes back again? Does that not work? Oh well. <laughs> 